Russia, amongst its many, many great achievements, has produced some giants of literature, such as Dostoevsky, Leo Tolstoy, and Solzhenitsyn. They also had a glorious revolution, and from that, developed and implemented one of the worst and most terrible interpretations of communism, which led to the space race. The first man in space, Yuri Gagarin, and from that, in 1984, the invention of Tetris. This is my homage to that great event. It's a tiny little Tetris run from a Actate Tiny and a handful of components. And today I'm going to take you through on how to build your own mini homage to that great event in 1984. Let's get cracking. All right, instead of me showing you a long video of how to solder this thing together, I've got AI to put a 60 second montage of me soldering it and putting all the components in. There's only a couple of things you need to be wary of when putting it together. And that is, you gotta make sure you put the switch on the back as well as the battery holder in first before you put the screen on. If you don't do this and you put the screen on first, then you won't be able to get to the solder points and attach the battery or the switch. Pretty straightforward really. The other thing to note is the resistors act as supports for the screen. You can see those resistors there. Um, so when the screen goes into place, uh, that will ensure that um, it can't be pushed down. It just helps. This is me soldering the screen together. You can see the battery is already in place along with the switch. Now I haven't put the IC in yet. That comes next. Right, now it's time to upload the sketch to the at T Tiny. And it's pretty straightforward, really. Now I can sit here and say that in hindsight because when I first learned, it wasn't that straightforward. Well, I didn't find it straightforward. Um, however, I have put together a step-by-step -step guide on how to program an at T Tiny, which I'll add a link to this video. Right now, I'm um, just finding the at T Tiny and then I'm gonna load up bootloader. And then once that bootloader has been uploaded, you can add the sketch. And this is my little program that I built. Um, if you wanna build your own, you can, and I'll put a link in this video, but you don't have to. You can just breadboard it. Um, there's only a handful of wires. And if you don't want something permanent, but I wanted something permanent, because I mess about with that T-Tinies a fair bit. So this really helps. Uh, process. So once that's been um, updated and uploaded, sorry, you're ready to add the IC to your circuit board. I call it IC, but at T tiny, you know what I mean. Now it's always wise to test your ICs before soldering into place, especially if there's no IC socket. You could breadboard this whole circuit and test it that way. Um, I went all out and built another PCB and added an IC socket into that so I could test it. I figure I'm going to make a few of these so I may as well have a permanent testing board that I can test the AT tinies in. So um, obviously if there is an issue and you don't test it well you've got to desolder everything. Now it's a good idea also to remove any sharp edges because your fingers are going to be touching the back of the board. So here I am clipping away any pins and removing any sharp edges. Okay. So we ah <laughs> terrific. Wow. What the heck? Okay, I thought there was something wrong there. It just gave me five straights. Which is pretty damn rare. All right, so we've got it working. Now I want to test out um, another little feature that this has got, and you can bring up 
ghost pieces. So if I put ghost on, start it. Alright. Cool. So you can see the ghost piece down there. And that really helps position your pieces. Love the ghost. What if I can slip that in? Yes, I can slip it in. Love being able to slip it in. No pun intended. All right, awesome. So, yeah, if you want to make your own, you can check out all the links in this video because I've got Gerber files and everything else available on my GitHub page. I've even done a step-by-step -step guide on my instructor's page on how to make your own. If you're not sure how to program yet, T-Tiny, well, I've also done instructables on that. I've also got an instructable on the programmer. What am I doing here? On how to build your own programmer. That's not necessarily necessary, necessary sorry. Oh, oh, oh. It's hard to talk and concentrate. Um, because you could just use a breadboard to program the at T-Tony. Pretty straightforward. Um, oh, you know what? There's one more thing we're gonna do. I found this in uh, one of my drawers. And I'm gonna add a key ring to it. There we go. So I can stick it on my keys and have a little bit of Mother Russia with me, always. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.